All right, so let's talk about the best way to generate real estate leads and more importantly, income for your real estate agent business. You know, I think this is probably one of the, the most important topics that, that you may be interested in as a real estate agent. Certainly it's the, the talk of most discussions in real estate offices. You know, how are you getting business? How are you generating leads? How are you making money as a real estate agent? And so I really wanted, and I'm looking forward to delivering this video for you today because uh, I think it's gonna give you a lot of insight that allow you to make good business decisions when it comes to your real estate lead generation strategies on what works and what doesn't, removing all the BS, removing all the marketing, removing all the messages that we keep hearing from, you know, a lot of these marketers out there uh, preaching, you know, do this and do that and buy this thing and buy this little this little widget and, and all your problems are gonna go away. Well, I wanna, I wanna break through all of that and I wanna just get through the facts, okay? So what I wanna look at right now is I'm gonna break down the, there's only three ways to get to get real estate leads to make money in this industry. I wanna, I wanna break all three of those down. I wanna look at the pros and cons, but what we have to look at under each strategy is a couple things, okay? So what we have to look at is the, the level of resistance that you're in to execute on these strategies, okay? There's, there's the path of least resistance, and then there's a path of most resistance for most of you watching. This is gonna make sense in just a second. Then we need to look at overall effectiveness of the lead generation strategy, okay? From least effective to most effective, and then the third criteria that we're gonna look at when it comes to your lead generation strategy is how long does it take how long does that strategy take for you to get what you want, which is to generate new business and make money, right? I don't think any of us got in this real estate business uh, uh, as a, to be a nonprofit, right? And so the unfortunate reality is most real estate agents, because they don't have a lead generation strategy, are living a nonprofit career. So let's change that as a result of this video. Okay, so, so let's look at the first uh, the first way that you can generate leads and you can generate income, which is, by the way, if we're being honest, the, uh, the most sought after, no, I shouldn't say sought after, it's the, most, it's the path that most real estate agents take, which is waiting for business. Now, let me explain what I mean, okay? When we look at waiting for business, this is the, the absolute path of least resistance. It's the easiest way, okay? It's the easiest way. However, on the criteria that we're looking at on today's video, it's also the lowest effective. It's the least effective way to generate business and it takes the longest, okay? So like most humans, if you ask yourself right now, well, Brandon, why, why, are, why are most agents waiting for business? Because it's the easiest. And like most humans, left up to our own, we're gonna take the path of least resistance. So what do I mean by waiting for business? Well, most realtors are waiting for their friends and family to call them that need to buy or sell a home. I mean, that is, and there's tons of studies to back this up, that is by far, by far, the way in which most real estate agents do their business. Now, it probably only yields them a deal or two per year, but this is the way most licensees, there's like 1.6, 1.7 million licensees right now in the country, and of which most, this is how they do it. They get their real estate license because they wanted to be in real estate for one reason or another, uh, which doesn't matter right now in this video, and they just wait. They just they, they got their license to help their friends and family buy homes. They can make a couple extra thousand dollars here on the side, okay? That's one way to wait for business. The next way that many, many people are, are doing is posting on social media and then waiting for somebody to hopefully reach out as a result of that post on social media and say, oh, I saw your post on social media. Come list my home. Oh, we'd like to buy a house and we'd like to hire you to help us find and, and represent us in the purchase of a home. Now, you and I both know that rarely, if ever, happens, but it's another way of waiting for business. Next, what I put is open houses. Okay, open houses is just another strategy of waiting for business. Okay, you pick a property, you go into that open house, 
and you wait for people to show up. You hope people show up. Now, there are strategies, and I've talked about these in the past in other videos, on how you can make your open houses more successful, but I still put open houses under the waiting category when it comes to real estate lead generation because you're not in really control of how many people show up. You go there, you put up your signs, and you literally are waiting for people to show up. I think you'd agree with that, okay? The next thing I have on the list under waiting for business is sending out mailers, okay? Because you don't have any control of how many people open the letter, respond to the letter, call you as a result of the letter. I mean, you're sending the mail out and you're sitting back and doing what? Waiting and hoping somebody's gonna call you as a result of sending the letter, okay? This is a waiting activity. This is a reactive activity, okay? And then the last thing I have under waiting for business is networking, okay? So what I'm talking about is going to networking events, joining the Chamber of Commerce, going to all the events they do, you know, doing all the schmoozing and all that stuff, and then waiting for somebody to refer you to a client, waiting for somebody in the chamber to call you to do a deal, right? So these are all waiting strategies, okay? This video is not about what is right or what is wrong. This video is about the three things that we talked about at the beginning. What is the most effective and what is the fastest way for you to generate business and generate income, okay? Now, waiting for business, let's recap. It's the path of least resistance. It is the least effective way to get business and it takes the longest. However, it is free. Most of those things are free, okay? So let's talk about the second way to generate leads and generate business. Buying leads, okay? So let's look at those same three criterias. I put this one in the middle, okay? So from a path, from a resistance standpoint, this is right in the middle, okay? It's not hard to just give your credit card to a company and sit back and let them do the work and email you leads when they come in, but it's expensive, right? So from a resistance standpoint on that threshold or on those that criteria, it's somewhere in the middle. Because if you have money, okay, and uh, you, you've got some money to blow, it's pretty easy for you just to call one of these companies, give them your credit card, have them go out there and generate you know, what they call leads and then give you those leads. Now you just have to call them, you just have to do things with them, but I put that right in the middle from a resistance standpoint. Effectiveness, I put it right in the middle, okay? It's better than just waiting around hoping that somebody's gonna call you to list their home, it's better than that, you know? So I put that in the middle. When it comes to time frames, I also put this in the middle, okay? Because if you're buying leads, and if you've ever bought leads, you know that the conversion usually on average is about three to six months. So you buy leads today, you work those leads properly, which is a whole nother video, you can expect a conversion in three to six months. So let's talk about some ways that you can buy leads. Certainly, you can go out there and buy what we call property specific uh, leads. These are like Zillow leads, realtor.com leads. A consumer goes out there, goes on one of their platforms, inquires on a specific property, and then they sell you that lead, okay? Very, very expensive, very, very expensive, uh, but that's a way to buy leads. Another way to buy leads is to buy what we call property search, property search leads. These are your, your Facebook and your pay-per-click campaign leads through KV Core, through Conversion, through Commissions Inc., through Boomtown, companies like that, through Real Geeks, companies like that, they'll get you leads through Facebook and through Google, through a pay-per-click campaign, and then get you property search leads. These are buyers that are searching for properties uh, in a specific area. They usually are a lot less expensive, but they take a lot longer to convert than uh, a property specific lead. And then lastly, I wrote down home value leads. Okay, this is these are companies um, stab at generating listing type internet leads is the home valuation leads. So you can buy home valuation leads again, depending on who you get them from. Uh, they're, they're probably a little bit more uh, expensive than the home search leads, a little bit less than the property specific leads, and they take three, six, nine months to convert. Okay, all of which is fine. If, that's, if you've got the money 
to, uh, if you can afford to, to do that, great. You've got systems to follow up with these leads to convert them, phenomenal. Let's talk about the third way to generate business. This is what I believe in, this is how I built my business, this is what I coach agents to do every single day, which is to go out there and prospect for new business, okay? So let me define this. Let me give you my definition of what it means to prospect for new business. Here's what I wrote. Prospecting is identifying, keyword is identifying potential clients, and then proactively, another keyword, contacting those potential clients, aka prospects, to generate new business opportunities. Okay, that is my definition, is to identify a certain, uh, a certain group of people, a certain demographic, okay, that's step number one, Okay, we're not just randomly going out there and reaching out to people. We're gonna identify the ideal prospect, okay? For sale by owner, expired listing, uh, uh, absentee owner, for rent by owner, a probate, somebody going through divorce, a divorce attorney, somebody that's transitioning or downsizing and getting a smaller property. These are all people that have a specific targeted uh, motivation around selling their home, okay? So identifying a certain niche of business and then proactively reaching out and contacting those people to identify new business opportunities, okay? Now, I wrote down here, you can do that by calling them directly. This is you proactively in control of your destiny. You get to decide how many phone calls you make to how many prospects you want that will yield you a certain result. You are in control of that activity. Next, I wrote, door knocking. You can pick a specific, targeted, niche demographic and go show up at their home, knock on the door and ask them if they're selling. This is you being in control. Next, I wrote email, text messaging, messaging on social media. These are all things that put you in the driver's seat. This is why I like prospecting over marketing. This is why I like prospecting over waiting for business. You get to decide how much business and how much income you make. Now, you might say, well, Brandon, what do you mean I get to decide? What do you, I mean, you know, what do you mean? Well, here's what I mean by that. If we look at the resistance and the effectiveness, this is absolutely the path of most resistance. Most of you have a whole bunch of problems around proactively reaching out to people you know and proactively reaching out to people you don't know to generate business. I understand this. So it's the most resistance. However, it is the most effective. And this is the, the answer to the question that I just asked. The reason why this is the most effective is for the two reasons I pointed out in the definition of prospecting. We're identifying a specific demographic of people instead of just the general population. Waiting for business and mass marketing, you're, 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 you're hoping that somebody that sees your message needs to buy or sell. With prospecting, you get to decide who you're contacting, right? That's a massive, massive difference. We know the likelihood of a for sale by owner selling their home is in the 90 percentile, maybe even higher than just generally sending out 100 mailers to 100 random houses. All 100 people, the likelihood of those 100 people selling, very, very low. So prospecting, you get to identify, key thing, and then you get to proactively reach out to those people who have a likelihood to sell or buy a home. That is why it's most effective. And then thirdly, from a timing perspective, it's absolutely, there is no debate, the fastest way for you to get business, for you to generate income. Now, you're probably saying, well, Brandon, why doesn't everybody just prospect? Because again, it's the path of most resistance. You need to learn the skills the mindset, the approach, the activities, the follow-up. There's a system that you have to put in place in order to make prospecting work for your business. This is why I'm making this video today. If you find yourself watching this and say, okay, I wanna be in control of my life, my income, my destiny, my future, well, I put a link right beneath this video, okay? You can click the link 
and learn about what it means to, to be in my coaching system, my mentorship program, where I'll show you step by step how to build a business that's prospecting based, how to put you in the driver's seat so you can go out there and build a massive income, a massive life, a massive business, which I believe you want. I'll show you exactly how to do it. So feel free, if that's something that you want to uh, explore, I'd love to talk to you. Our team would love to talk to you. Click the link beneath this video. We can jump on a quick call. You can learn about our coaching programs and then you can decide if working with us right now makes any sense or not. Either way, no big deal. I will continue to make these videos, continue to pour into your business. And if you have any questions about today's video or anything, that I can do to help you with your real estate sales business. Use the comment section beneath this video. I'll be happy to have a dialogue with you. Until next time, stay focused, stay committed to your goals, and I just wanna thank you for your continued support, and we'll see you guys in the next video very soon. Thank you so much for watching.